Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to another video. Today's topic is when you elevate, you trigger more people. So if you're watching this, chances are that you're making progress in your life in one or more areas. It could be health or fitness. You could have a new amazing relationship in your life or all of the above. The base point of it is you are growing in so many ways and you've been working very hard to do so. This video is about illuminating what you may be experiencing as you elevate in your life. Specifically how other people in your life are responding to you in positive or many in negative ways. When you elevate, when you're improving yourself, when you're becoming a better version of you, it's very triggering to other people for a lot of reasons. When you're elevating, your vibration is raising, you're becoming a more positive, loving, intelligent, confident, clear-minded, vulnerable, present, confident, authentic version of yourself. You might be making more money. Again, you might have a new relationship in your life. Your business is starting to take off. Maybe you're getting in shape. You're finally starting to look different and feel different and become that better version of you, again, that you've been working so hard to create. Oftentimes, when we're elevating the people in our life, if they are not people who are also elevating and working on themselves the way that you are and are on the same trajectory and positive growth that you are, it can be very disturbing and you will garner more negative attention. This happens because as you're raising your vibration, your aura, your light, your energy, it's expanding. And as your energy and light is expanding, as your inner light, your soul's calling is coming to fruition and you are becoming a brighter, more vibrant, radiant version of yourself, it triggers the shadows in other people. And so this will manifest itself in a number of different ways. People will talk more trash about you behind your back. People that you thought you can trust, you can no longer trust. Now they're gossiping, now they're scheming, now they're trying to get everyone to see how bad of a person you are. And here you are, you're just doing your own thing, trying to improve your life because you didn't like how things were. Again, it's important to understand, and the point of this video is to bring awareness that you're doing nothing wrong. You're actually, this is a sign of immense growth, positive growth and transformation. And that all that's happening is your light is expanding and becoming brighter and more intense. And you're shining the light on the shadows of those around you. And it's returning to you in the form of negative energy. People are triggered by you. They have attitudes with you. You see those little dirty looks and snares. Again, talking behind your back or gossip or whatever. I'm here to remind you that none of that matters. It doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what they do. Of course, if somebody is immediately and directly attacking you, you may need to set a boundary and stand up for yourself. And I'll give some personal examples about this. But do not stop. Do not stop what you're doing. Take it as a sign that you're on the right path that you are becoming that better version of yourself. And this is a clear, physical, tangible example and experience that you will have in your life as you elevate and that you need to keep going. If you think of everything as a pyramid, right? You're rising to the top. As you rise to the top, everything that doesn't serve you, all the people especially, will fall off. Let's talk about why people are getting triggered. So at the base level, your light is shining brighter, your vibration is raising, and it's shining the light on their shadows that are projecting negative energy back onto you. Do not take it personal. This is what you're supposed to do as a light worker and what will happen as you improve your vibration in your life. Because what you're doing is you're illuminating their shadows. You're showing them and reminding them everything that they could be, but they're not working towards being. And instead of supporting you, it makes them uncomfortable. And many people are fearful of change and growth. And so they don't want to take on that fear or they don't want to take on the fear of change. They don't want to do the work to grow and improve their own lives. So instead of doing that work that, and using that energy that they're projecting onto you in the form of trash talking or whatever, gossiping, etc., they're just not using that energy to improve their lives. Instead, they're using it to try to bring you down so they can stay comfortable because you're reminding them what they're not doing. 
So again, don't take it personal. This is a clear sign that you're on the right path. You're doing what you need to do. Many people fear change and that's okay, but we're here to show them that it's possible. And I think it's Gandhi or the Dalai Lama or something. I think it's Gandhi. And it, the quote is, I didn't really write a lot of notes down for this video, guys. I just wanted to make a video and start being more consistent because I'm in a transition of my life. It's requiring a lot of energy and it's all really good. But yeah, anyways, that's an aside. I will continue to make content consistently. You can count on that because this is part of my path. This is part of my purpose. The saying is first they hate you or first they don't like you, then they hate you, then they want to fight you, then they love you or something like that. So I'll have to look it up, pardon the butchering the quote, but the gist of it is first they hate you, then they want to fight you, then they love you. So that's what's happening. You're triggering their darkness, but you need to block all of that out and anybody and anything that isn't serving you is supposed to fall away. So here's some personal examples in my life of what it looks like and you may be experiencing the same thing. I got a promotion at work and I've gotten this promotion in a very short period of time, but it's because of my attitude, my hard work, my intentions, my efforts, bringing in a positive attitude, focusing on being great at my job, knowing exactly why I'm doing this and what it's here for, learning what I need to learn, putting the time in. It's triggered a lot of people at my work that have been there for a much longer period of time. And so there's all this, you know, gossip behind my back and, oh, he's not even that good. He's, you know, a piece of crap, blah, blah, blah. Well, who knows what they're saying? Again, I don't really care and I don't really know. There was one girl in particular, she's been there for years and she was just being so nasty to me. She was like saying all this stuff like, oh, you're struggling, calling me some other dude's name that used to work there that was like not that good at the job. And like, oh, you're just blah, 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 blah. And she just wouldn't shut up. And uh, for context, I work in a very super high end, very busy, very like fancy fine dining restaurant. I'm sitting there, we're like in a busy shift and she can't help herself, but just project all this negative energy. It's like, Jesus Christ, like I'm just trying to do my job. And she's just under, she's very upset with me because I'm getting promoted and she's not and stuff. So I finally, I said, Hey, look, get away from me with all your nasty energy. If you used all this negative energy that you're projecting onto me because you're upset because I'm getting promoted, you might actually improve your life. You're at, you might actually change. Your life might actually get better. And I didn't say it in a nasty way because that's not where I was coming from. I was simply telling her the truth of what she needed to hear. And so, you know, she came to me later and she's like, oh, you really hit below the belt. And I was like, I didn't hit above or below the, or anything. I was like, I'm setting a boundary with you because I'm here trying to do my job. And in the middle of the shift, you're being super nasty and toxic to me. As a matter of fact, I told you the truth. And you only think it's hitting below the belt because I told you the truth and you know that it's true and you didn't like hearing it. And she completely, the rest of the shift, she was like trying to help me and be all super nice to me. And I was like, I don't want your help. I was like, get your nasty energy away from me. I don't want your help. I don't need it. Stay away from me. I've told you what you needed true. And it was actually out of care. It was actually out of love. Hopefully you take it out, take it to heart and you use that to be constructive in your life. So that was one way. And then last night I had, I was at work again. I could tell these guys were super triggered and I came in and you know, knock on wood, I'm humble, I'm, I've done this forever. It's just waiting tables in the end, but I've done it. I am doing it at a very high level, but I've just, I've done it. These guys were super triggered. All of a sudden at the end of the night, I sold more than them. I brought in more tips and we, we do a tip pool. Everyone shares the tips. So it's more money in my pocket. It's more money for them. So I don't know why they wouldn't be happy. I do know why they wouldn't be happy because it's triggering them that, oh my God, he's coming in and they think I'm like brand new. And I'm like, dude, I've done this forever. I just haven't done this here yet, but now I am. And you're just, so my aura is, is bright. My, I'm shining brightly, I'm, I'm improving, but they were triggered. So these are just a few personal examples of how when you are elevating in your life, people will begin to be triggered. Another personal example is I have a group of friends and sure, we'll always be friends. We used to be brothers, close. I used to be part of this group. And I have just out, outgrown it. And these are guys that are very successful, multimillionaires that have their own businesses and their families and they own houses and kids and stuff and all this stuff. I'm here single with my dog hanging out in Vegas in the apartment, but I'm growing so much. The energy that I am exhibiting now, it's changing. I'm becoming the best version of myself and it's triggering to them. So we're sure they are really genuinely happy and supportive but I've just grown apart for them and I'm no longer really part of that friend group. Our vibrations just don't match. So even people in your life that have been around forever will begin to fall away when you begin to become the best version of yourself. And that's the point I wanna make, bringing that personal example into light and sharing it with you. So these are some things that I want you to take as positive signs 
that you are growing. When you get negative feedback from others and they're hating on you, they're gossiping you, people are trying to make your life more difficult, people are falling out of your life, people that you used to trust and be friends with are no longer your fr you're no longer friends or you just don't vibe with them or want to do, these are signs that you're growing, that you're changing, that all this hard work is coming to fruition and that you need to keep going. This is a sign also to, for a couple of things, this is why you need to keep things private for yourself and learn to celebrate yourself in silence because a lot of people do not want you to succeed because they're used to the old version of you and they want you to always be that version so that you don't illuminate their shadows and show them what they're not doing or where they're not going, et cetera, et cetera. Even family members, especially family members. You're breaking the mold, you're breaking the family traumas, the ancient family cycles that you've replayed over and over in your family lineage and bloodline over and over, they're especially gonna be triggered because you're changing the family line. You're breaking through the trauma. They're not aware, but you are. You're the chosen one. You're the awakened one. You're the one that was brought into this life at this period of time to break through the karmic family cycles of your family's bloodline and lineage. They're not gonna be comfortable with it. You're changing the mold. But when you do make it and you break through on the other side, then they're gonna be like, oh my God, okay, great. Because most people don't have true vision, true sight, not with your eyes, with your third eye, with your mind. Vision is the art of seeing that which is not real in reality. So many people are not gonna support you until you have the money, until you have the followers and the subscribers, until you have et cetera, and you've made it and broken through and they can tangibly see it and go, oh man, now I can see it, now I believe it. You're not operating from that level. You're operating on an energetic quantum level at a vibratory energetic shift that is creating a deep transformation within your life. Your soul, your DNA is being awakened. This is why you're here. So this is a video of encouragement. This is a video of reminders that you've got to learn to be your own best, biggest fan and supporter to remain private in what you're building to clear your energy and block out all the negative energy and distractions. And that if you're experiencing these things in your life, you are dang well on the right track. And not only do you need to keep going, keep going and continue to expand. Let it out. Let all the energy out. Let all the light out. Now's the time to break through. Do not let anybody or anything stop you. And if you're watching this video, you're probably at the point where, you know what? No one can eat anyways because this is a divine mission. It's not an ego thing of like, oh, I'm dominating everyone. Look how great I am and all this money I have. No, you're answering your soul's calling. You're answering your soul's calling. You're on the right path. Great things are happening. They're blossoming open. They're blossoming open and becoming something greater than even you have imagined because this is your divine purpose. This is why you came here. So again, if you're seeing this video, take it as confirmation and reminders that the higher you elevate, the more people you're going to trigger, the more darkness you're going to not attract, but that you're going to illuminate and that you may experience in different forms. It's also a sign to, in that form to protect your energy, to remain private in what you're building, and to not only continue to expand and go forward on your path, but oh my gosh, double down, because now you're really breaking through. That's what I have for you today. I did write down a couple of quotes that I thought were important, but that was just kind of something I wanted to share with you guys today. The quotes I will share with you, in order for the light to shine brightly, the darkness must be present. That's a quote from Sir Francis Bacon, AKA St. Germain, who had reincarnated as St. Germain or Sir Francis Bacon. I don't know the time periods, but anyways. St. Germain, one of the keepers of the light, the ascended masters, the holder of the violet flame. That's a quote from him, or Sir Fran Francis Bacon, one of his incarnations. The next quote I'll share, the darker the night, the brighter the stars. So the brighter you are shining, the darker the night, the darker the atmosphere might be. That's what you're here for. That's what a light worker is. It's not light relaxer, it's light worker. We're doing the work, light warrior, you're a light warrior, you're a light bearer, you're a torch bearer, you're a curse breaker, that's why you're here. So stay strong in your power, do not be distracted, double down on what you're doing. We are breaking through, we've already broken through. This is a video to remind you of what you'll experience as a confirmation of what that is. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.